Hi friends, this is your prophet, Prophet Greg. Please, this is your very first time of coming across our channel. We love you and we celebrate you greatly. And we also urge you that you subscribe, you like, and you share with your friends. Today, we are looking at six ways, I mean five ways to stop eating in the dream. Praise God. Have you been eating in your dreams? Now, listen. Most of the things people eat in the dream is not food, it's not meat, it's not fruit. These are satanic mechanism in order to uh, infuse or plant evil in your system so that Satan can begin to manipulate you, witchcraft can begin to manipulate you, occultic powers can begin to manipulate you, manipulate your business, manipulate your marriage, manipulate your wife or your kids. Praise God. Constant eating the dream is not from God. It's a sign that there are powers in the world beyond that want to gain control over your life. Because if they can feed you, they can manipulate your life. They can gain control over your life. Praise God. So the question is, how do I stop this satanic manipulation? Number one salvation you must be born again one of the ways to stop that demon from feeding you in the dream is for you to be born again now i'm not talking about you going to church i'm talking about you giving your life to jesus absolute surrendering absolute dedication to jesus christ when you surrender to jesus he takes over your battles when you surrender to jesus he begins to fight your battles when you surrender to jesus there is a mark of touch not upon your destiny praise god so it's very crucial salvation is the key number one number two is for you to pray and arrest the demon appearing to you in your dreams to feed you praise god Remember, Jesus speaking, he says, I give you authority over unclean spirits. Whatsoever you shall rest on earth is arrested in heaven. Whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven, and whatever you lose is loose in heaven. And so, take authority over that demon. Arrest that demon. Bind that spirit. Praise God. Job chapter 22, verse 28. Thou shalt decree a thing, shall be established unto thee. So, Take authority over that demon, arrest that spirit, appearing to you in your dreams and feeding you. Praise God. Number three key is for you to set the altar and the deity. The altar and the deity claiming ownership over your life on fire. Praise God. And so the spirit that is appearing to you, feeding you in your dream, is coming from somewhere. It's being sent by someone which is the altars in your father's house or altars in the sea. And so when you take authority against that altar and set the altar on fire or the deity on fire, you realize that the demon set is arrested, the altars are set on fire or the deity is set on fire. Through that, you are able to arrest the demon and set the deity on fire, set the altar on fire, and then you are free from eating the tree because there's no force again to send the spirit. And the spirit also is captured, is arrested, so there's no way you can experience that manipulation again. Praise God. Number four is for you to disconnect yourself from every unclean spirit, every altar, every deity. Claiming ownership over your life. Just the way God did to Abraham. By disconnecting him from the powers from his father's house. To a land that he showed him. Praise God. So you disconnect yourself. Pray. Disconnect yourself in the realm of the spirit. From the powers in your father's house. The powers from your village. The powers from the water region. The powers from anywhere. Making claims over your life. Claiming ownership over your destiny. Pray and disconnect yourself. So as soon as you are disconnected, there is no way they can feed you again. Praise God. Number five is always covering yourself with the blood of Jesus when you want to go to bed. Now, many don't pray when they want to go to bed. Praise God. Remember, 
Revelation chapter 12, verse number 11, the Bible says, We overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. And so, anytime you want to go to bed, cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. The devil can never assess a man that is covered with the blood of Jesus. The devil can't come close. That's why the Bible speaking, it says, Evil shall bow at the gate of the righteous. The Bible also speaking, it says, When I see the blood, I will pass over. And so when they come to feed you and they see you cover the blood of Jesus, they will take off. They can't assess the blood. They can't come close to the blood. Because the blood of Jesus is judgmental against them. Praise God. So with these five keys, when applied, you will stop the devil from feeding you in your dreams. In the name of Jesus. Shalom. And God bless you.